Bullets fly in a Maumelle neighborhood after police say a man started shooting randomly from inside his apartment in the middle of the night. Thank you for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Bob Clawson. And I'm Ashley Katz. That overnight gunfire happened along Edgewood. It left behind some damage and led to an arrest. KRK4 is Tyler Thompson joining us now with more on this bizarre story. How it began, where it went, and where it is. That's right. Yeah, Maumelle police say this all started after a man came to the police station sweaty, jumpy, and paranoid, saying he was forced to take a pill and that people were chasing him. Two hours later, officers were called out to that man's apartment after someone reported hearing gunshots. On a rainy afternoon, You're gonna walk to the mailbox with you, okay? getting the mail calls for a companion. Brittany McCurdy braves the weather outside her parents' home on Ophelia Drive in Maumelle. It's one of the older neighborhoods, I think. Like I said, my parents have lived here for 21 years. But this normally quiet subdivision appears to have been rattled overnight. Police say around 4 a.m., Nathan Strange fired off several rounds from inside his apartment here at the Arbor Complex. We're told he had been acting strange for a couple hours prior. Upon first speaking with him, he just wasn't making a whole lot of sense. He, he, was, he was very uh, jumpy, very paranoid acting. Officers say he came to the police department around 2 a.m. dripping in sweat, saying people were chasing him. He repeated those claims when police showed up after the shooting. Police didn't find anyone, but they did find bullet holes, 19 in a neighbor's door, and more across the street and over the fence at a home on Ophelia Drive. We were very lucky in this situation. No one got hurt. A close call. It terrifies me. Too close for some. Nathan Strange was taken to the hospital, but I'm told he will be facing charges that include aggravated assault and criminal mischief, guys.